we're just going to go over how to edit my camera bellows file. You'll notice that the height is set to 300 when in fact it's 320. Some extra add-ons like the lip to secure it on the other end, on either end. Subtract 20 millimeters and then put that as your height. We've got width base, length base. So you just put that in. It's just so you can make an oblong shape. And then same again with the top, which is exactly what's going on. So that is our layer printing layer width. And I've got a 0.4mm nozzle, so I can't actually go wider than 0.4. I want to try it in a bigger nozzle, so if I get a 0 0.6, I'll change this to 0 0.6. And what that's going to do is that will add on each side the thickness. And then that way, when you put in your diameter for the top, so you'll measure where you want it to slot over. And that, what that will do is it'll just work it out for you, and the inside diameter should be the right size to fit over and it's pretty easy to adjust the width 180 for instance and you'll notice it's pretty good it works like that for all of them I've tested it out uh, the one that you will have to change something for is the height so let's say we go from 200 or from 300 to 200 Um, so this is an easy fix, it's not nothing complicated, all we got to do is head over to loft 2, just the second loft, get out of that, um, go into it and then it'll always be offset just off the end of the model, so it'll look like this every time no matter what size you make it, and the first profile selected and all you need to do is select the top of the model, and hit OK and it will fix all the other references. This one here is not such a big deal. I'll just leave it like that. It's just because now I can't project the bases that aren't there anymore. But don't worry about it. It's all good. And there we have it. It's just that simple to edit. Thanks.